Hello, my name's Mrs McNeil and I teach the Hair and Beauty GCSE Equivalent Qualification. Um, in this qualification, it's a part written, part theory qualification. So half of the course you will be learning practical skills um, in hairdressing and beauty therapy. And the other part of the course will be theory set assignments. And I'll explain to you exactly what they are shortly. Okay, so let me explain to you what types of things you'll be studying. For the theory qualifications, the things that we, the units that you'll be looking at, hair and beauty science. So this is where you learn about the structure of the hair and the structure of the skin. You'll also look at particular ingredients that are put in products and how they react and how they work on the hair and skin. The second unit of work is a research project. So you will have to research and find information around the hair and beauty sector, for example, the history of hair and beauty, or um, specific treatments or services that are offered in the hair and beauty industry. The third unit is um, an introduction to the hair and beauty sector. So that's an exam based um, unit and you have to learn about how the hair and beauty industry works and what it would be like to work in that sector. And finally, um, there is a responding to a design brief. So that's creating a plan around a total look or a magazine cover, and you um, will plan and follow through with creating that image. Um, it may be around, this year's is around a red carpet event. So you would create a total look for a red carpet event. On the practical side, so when we go into the salon, and we do have a salon on site, um, on the practical side, you'll learn skills in shampooing and conditioning treatments, plaiting and twisting hair, makeup application, nail art application, and then um, putting the whole image together using all of those skills to create a complete image.
So why study hair and beauty? If you have an interest in the beauty or the hairdressing sector, um, it's absolutely booming at the moment. So there's lots and lots of opportunities for employment in this sector. You'll learn skills um, that you can also change to other um, occupations. So skills such as communication skills, learning how to work as part of a team, health and safety skills. So a lot of the skills that you work, that you learn in the hair and beauty course, you would be able to carry off into another career as well. Um, but if you have a particular interest, in hairdressing or beauty therapy this qualification will allow you to go on to college once you finish school and um, onto a level two or level three qualification in the subject that you choose so I just want to talk to you a little bit about our salon environment that we have on site. We're really, really lucky that we have um, a salon that we can work with and that we can practice our skills with. So in the salon, we have two sinks so that we can learn how to shampoo. We have lots of the model heads and as well as working on the model heads, you are also expected to work on each other. And the reason for that is everybody has different hair types and different skin types. And the more different hair, hair types and skin types you can work with, um, the more skills you will gain. And within the salon, I like to run the salon as a professional um, environment. So when you come into the salon, I run it as if you would be working in a live salon. So your communication skills will need to be professional. The way you present yourself will need to be professional. You need to use um, health and safety and follow the regulations that you would if you were working in a real salon. So it's a fantastic opportunity for you to be able to understand how to work professionally as well as how to communicate in a professional manner in a workplace. Assessment techniques. So how are you assessed during hairdressing and beauty therapy? Well, there's two different parts to this. On the theory side, at the end of your unit of work, you will, for three modules, you'll be assessed by me and also assessed by a moderator and by the exam board. Um, so you will have a criteria that you'll understand and you'll know how to follow um, to be able to get the result that you want. The results are given in pass, merit or distinction grades and an accumulation of your grades from the four units that you'll complete that will give you your overall grade for the course. In the practical sector you are assessed by me so and that will be through observation skills and I will take photographs and you will collect a portfolio of evidence that you can then take on if you want to go to college with your skills and you can show evidence of what you've achieved up to now. So where can you go once you've got this qualification? Well, there are so many opportunities with this qualification that you could go to. Like I've explained before, with your communication skills, your confidence will grow during the practical skills. It just automatically grows. Um, and you could go into any type of career. There are things like hairdressing, obviously, beauty therapy, obviously. But then you can also go further to university. Um, you could go into product manufacturing, you could go into special effects makeup, you could go into working on television, media or fashion. So from here to college, to university if you choose, or into a particular industry like television, media, um, fashion, um, there are so many different opportunities that you could take this qualification. If I've missed anything out and you've got more questions or you'd like a little bit more information, you can contact me on my email address. Um, uh, please feel free and I'll answer anything that I can.